Hey everyone, Kita Sean here. So, as you guys probably already know, during the fifth anniversary stream, they revealed the last four servants getting the buff for the fifth anniversary. As expected, it was the Fates Day Night servants, and all of them are ridiculous. Like, these are crazy, crazy buffs. So, let's go ahead and talk about them, starting off with Ku Hooting uh, Lancer. So, um, his first skill will go down from uh, 9 charge time to 8, and uh, the less HP he has, the more attack he does, like the more attack damage he does for 3 turns. Uh, this is huge because usually your Ku is going to have low HP uh, when you fight because um, he's just going to survive all the time. So this is huge. Like He basically just does more damage. Uh, does this add on to his MP? Yes. So this is pretty crazy. Uh, Ku just gets stronger as he loses HP. Hercules. Hercules has a really, really broken buff. Um, he can now stack guts. It does not matter where the guts comes from, CEs, uh, other servant skills, his own skill. Guts will now uh, stack on him, which basically, you know, follows the lore, the anime, uh, the, the visual novel. Um, and depending on how many guts he has, uh, the more damage he can do with his buster cards. So that's crazy. And it's for five turns. That's pretty ridiculous. Uh, I, I actually did not check the percentage, but the percentages are also ridiculous. Uh, but yeah, that's insane. Like Hercules, oh, I'm going to stay alive. Oh, by the way, I have a bunch of guts too, and I'm going to like do a lot of damage against you because all my buster cards are super strong right now. So yeah, Hercules is ridiculous. Um, he is just definitely... Uh, a really easy servant to use and a really strong one as well. Definitely, in my opinion, the strongest four-star servant in the game right now. As for Emya, Emya had a really cool buff. I actually really like this. Uh, they have increased the percentage on the uh, the third skill for him. Quick, Arts, and Buster. That percentage goes up. The turns stay at one turn, unfortunately. But uh, now his MP, you can actually change it from Arts or Buster. So it, it's like uh, Space Ishtar. You know how you can change her Noble Phantasm to three different types, Quick, Arts, Buster. For Emya, it's only Arts or Buster. And I'm sure a lot of you guys were hoping for his MP to become Arts. Well, now you can change it to Arts if you want. And yes, he can be used for farming. Now, you have to be careful. All of this is for one turn only. So uh, just you know, keep that in mind. As for Arutodia, uh, Arutodia, um, this buff is ridiculous. This probably made her the strongest AOE servant or AOE saber in the game. Uh, his, uh, her MP damage has gone up, and that's for one turn, which is huge. And you can change all of her cards, her command cards, into Buster. So basically. You bring out her Noble Phantasm and you see like two arts cards out. You're like, oh, I don't want to use two arts cards. I want to change it to Buster. Boom. Change it to Buster. So, yeah, that's huge. Like, she is now a true gorilla. <laughs> so, yeah, these buffs are insane for all of them. Um, definitely uh, something that they all needed in a way. Not really needed, but like. Yeah, it's just crazy. Like, definitely the stack was huge. Um, changing his MP to Arts is huge. Uh, giving her this, like, Buster uh, command card set only was huge. Like, Ku staying alive and doing more damage is huge. Like, wow. These, these are huge, huge buffs and definitely a must need for all of them. So... Yeah. Oh, also, you gotta remember, uh, for Hercules buff, you need to clear Chapter 5 Lost Belt Atlantis. So if you just started a new account right now, you need to clear Lost Belt Atlantis in order to uh, unlock this buff. So just remember that. Everyone else's, you can just do automatically. So, yeah, just, um, just remember to do that. But, yeah, man, these buffs are huge. <laughs> but anyways, uh, comment down below and tell me which buff you guys like the most out of the four. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Laters.